Hey everyone, it's Izzy. Hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. I just got back from Party in the Valley Tour, aka Betty, who's new tour for her second album, The Valley. It was amazing. Let's let's just get into it. So I went to this concert alone. I went early because of LA traffic. I live in Orange County. I got a great spot in line. So I got in, I got a nice seat in the balcony, and it was like front row, except for where the VIP was. And then while I was waiting for the show to start, I met Casper, who is a singer, and him and his boyfriend were there. I went to go say hi. <laughs> And he was really nice, but I felt like I wanted a picture, but I was nervous. And so it was like really a quick hi and goodbye. And I was like, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm gonna go sit down now. And then a few months later, he like came up and he's like, oh, let me follow you. Cause I told him I follow him on Instagram. I'm a fan and I watch his stories. And so that was nice meeting him. I wish I got a picture. I wasn't thinking I was just like really nervous, but whatever the show started really late i don't know what happened supposedly they were off schedule um so the concert didn't start until like nine i was already tired the opener was pretty sister they were good they did a lot of cover songs i didn't know a lot of them but i like how it's a rock band that raps so that's what i the vibe i got off of them i really like the backup dancers they had because they were really getting it and they would just come on stage randomly and then walk off during the middle of the song i know it's choreographed that way but it just looked a little funny Then the second opener was Verite. She was really good. I was really digging her music and her sound. She's great live. I've never heard of her before. Then before Betty came on, I realized there were some celebrities there because we were in LA and it was her last show of the tour. And so Jesse Tyler Ferguson was there. I got a picture with him after the show because I didn't want to bother him during the concert. And so that was fun. He was really nice. I felt bad. I didn't think he wanted to be bothered, but I was like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Modern Family. So I was like, hey, can I get a picture of a big fan? He was like, sure. And then we took a picture and I was like, okay, thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Now, Betty, who didn't come on stage until like 1030 and I was so exhausted by then. But literally once she came out on stage, like my energy just like, Shot the roof. The whole night wasn't a blur, but it was just, it all happened so fast and I was like living in the moment that I was just into every song. I was dancing my heart out. I was singing out loud.
it, the whole concert didn't stop. It was just great from start to end. There were so many great performances. It was hard to choose my favorite, but I think like my top ones for sure that I remember off the top of my head. Making Memories, Mama Say, That Got Down, Pretend You're Missing Me, Vocals Were On Point. I was having so much fun during You Can Cry Tomorrow. Such a great performance. Somebody Love You. Everyone in that whole theater was just dancing their heart out. It was amazing. It was so much fun to experience that. Then the performance of the night, which was just so, so energizing and so great, was when Super Fruit came on stage as a surprise and performed with Betty her song, Beautiful, that they all sing together. And it was so much fun and they had an audience interaction. I screamed at the top of my lungs. It was just so good. During the concert, she talked a lot, which I really love. And I like how she talked about like inspirations to the songs and how she engaged the audience and how it was funny, how she, it was very personable. And I really enjoyed that. Like she was talking to her audience as if we were her friends and not just her fans, which I really appreciate a lot. <laughs>
she just seems so grateful and so humble and just she's doing what she loves I'm all here for it there was so many gays it was wonderful like I felt like I was at pride literally that's how many gays were there like I probably, if I really counted there was only like three straight people and those are the guys that worked there All around, the concert was five out of five stars. It was great from start to finish. It was just really nice. I went alone and I was really nervous. I wasn't gonna have a good time or I wasn't gonna be able to dance and like fully enjoy myself. But I met some people, I made some friends there. I just let loose, I had a great time. If you have not seen Betty Hoon concert, I definitely suggest you check it out. I suggest you check out her music if you've never heard of her. I'll leave a link down below to Casper's music, who I met. I will also leave a link below to Betty's music if you have not gotten any. You can buy on iTunes or listen anywhere where all that music jazz is sold or streamed and blah blah blah. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Izzy618. Handle your scandal. I'm gonna go reminisce about that night and just listen to the valley and over and over and party and get get ready for the summer because it's, it's gonna be lit. Alright? Okay. Bye!